Man, man, man. What's good, I, uh, YouTube? Man, um, I'm on my way to the library because I got to finish up a school assignment. But what I wanted to get into today is uh, ESPN First Take, a debate that Skip Bayless and Stephen A. Smith were having. Uh, <laughs> and honestly, it was funny to me because uh, basically Marshawn Lynch's mother had tweeted, I don't know if it was Twitter, maybe it was Facebook, Instagram. You, you can never keep up with all this stuff. But anyway, she gets on there, and she pretty much complained about the way the Seahawks are playing, you know, more important, or more specifically, the play calling. Now, we all know that the Seahawks lost the Super Bowl because a lot of people feel they should have ran the ball with beast mode, and they ended up throwing the ball, interception, and they lost. But the whole argument was, Skip was saying, you need to make, you need to make your mom delete that, that post. And Stephen A was like, whoa, 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 wait a minute. Marshawn Lynch might be a grown man, but his mother is a grown woman. And I know a lot of people didn't like the fact that Stephen A. brought race into it when he said that as a black man, you know that uh, you don't tell your black mother what to do. Like you should. But honestly, I don't think race has anything to do with it. I mean, it, it, it does in a way because as a black man myself, I know better than to try to tell my mom what to do. I ain't crazy. I might be 21, but if I talk to my mom crazy... <laughs> It'll be a problem for me. So, you know, I, I mean, I'm with Stephen A. on this. I feel like sometimes uh, Skip Bayless is out of touch with reality, and sometimes he needs to understand that um, it's not even a black or white thing. It's like you don't disrespect your mother. I don't care what happens. Most mothers are, like Stephen A. said, most mothers are receptive to you saying, hey, Mom, uh, you know, I'm not telling you what you can and can't say, but because you said that, Things might be a little bit more difficult for me at work. Uh, the coaches may start, you know, acting differently towards Marshawn and, you know, that kind of thing. But at the most, that's all Marshawn can do if he chooses to because nobody's making Marshawn say anything either. You know, you know, if Marshawn just goes to his mother, it's like, hey, Ma, um, you know, I'm not telling you what you can and can't say, but that that tweet really made uh, – really might make things more difficult for me. So can you, like um, – maybe not be so specific when you're upset about a game or something like that. But honestly, that's all you can say. Like, I don't know where Stephen A, uh, where Skip Bayless comes off thinking that he, you can just disrespect your mother. Like, no, you ask your mom to please stop doing that or whatever you think you need to do. But you don't tell your mom something. You know, you ask, you don't tell. Like, I mean, I, I think that's ridiculous. And the, the reason why I say it's not a race thing is because uh, Stephen uh, Skip is so out of touch with reality that he thinks he, he just talked to his mom any kind of way. Because uh, I know what my white friends, some of my white friends have white moms. They're white, white moms, they don't play either. You know, like, it's not just black women that whoop their kids or black men that you know, spank their kids, no. Uh, white women, they don't play either. So um, it kind of rubbed me the wrong way that Skip was pretty much saying, uh, no, you know, screw my mom. I'm gonna go out there and say what I have to say and protect my job. Um, and then they, you know, they went into this long thing about how, uh, you know, if if uh, cause Skip, his argument was if um, if his wife Ernestine tweeted something uh, negative about ESPN that you know Skip felt like he could get in trouble and get fined or whatever. But my but my thinking on that is that's stupid. Your wife is control of what she of what she says. You control what comes out of your mouth and what what you tweet with your fingers. And if you decide to press in, so I don't think ESPN was suspend Skip for something someone else did. Now, if he did something, that's a, that's that's a, a totally different ball game. Plus, Ernestine is Skip's wife, so that was a horrible example. When you're sitting there talking about someone's mom, your argument can't be how you would handle your wife. And then he did eventually go and say that he would say the same thing to his wife, that, no, you need to take it down or whatever. But, you know, um, I just totally uh, I totally disagree with that. And I'm very surprised that that's the uh, angle Skip took on that. Um, I don't have any problem with Stephen A going, uh, you know, to race and saying that, you know, black men can't talk to them, their uh, black mothers like that because he's, he's being truthful. I don't know one black male who talks to his mom crazy. I don't. Uh, I'm trying to think. I have black friends who are mixed and whose mothers are white, but even they 
they don't, well, I guess that's a bad example if the mother is white. I, I don't know any moms who are mixed that have black kids, so. But I think you all guys uh, understand what I'm trying to say, so. Um, in the comments section below, let me know how y'all feel about this. Uh, well, Steve, if you feel like Stephen A. was out of line, or if you agree with me and pretty much 99.9% .9 of America, um, um, and just think that, uh, you know, Skip was wrong. Uh, so, yeah. Leave your comments in the comments section below. Let's get a debate started. Uh, the Donald Trump uh, video I posted uh, got was a lot more popular than I thought it would be. So uh, we're going to keep making videos. Sometimes it'll be sports. Other times it'll be politics. Um, on Sunday, uh, I'm going to do a recap of everything. All the key points that come on the, uh, the show, 60 Minutes. I'm about to start watching 60 Minutes so I can uh, stay, uh, stay on top of what's going on in the news. Um, so you guys be, uh, be on the lookout for that and, uh, everyone have a wonderful Wednesday. It's hump day, baby. We're almost through the end of the week. Only two more days. Keep going strong, guys. Thanks for watching.